Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Uh, I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about some things uh, that might be going on at uh, at Disney and Lucasfilm. Um, you know, uh, this morning, Mike Zero posted a video about Disney's reaction to the fan backlash, and this they reacted to the backlash. Uh, months ago, um, in December, I, I can't find really any recent articles. If someone can, please link them in the comments section because I really appreciate it to read. Uh, but basically, they're defending this fresh new take on the, you know, the saga, blah, blah, blah. And now it's crickets. Um, look at, you know, the problems that they, that they, that prognosticators on Wall Street are already saying, and they have problems with this franchise. And uh, I, I'm really kind of enjoying myself right now, actually, to be honest. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, the only person who's out there defending it is Ryan Johnson and Pablo Hidalgo. Now, I posted those two pictures of them, and I will post them again because I want everybody on the planet to see them. Um, in fact, here they are. See that? You like that? Isn't that nice? Isn't that? That's how they feel about you, the fan. That's how these two uh, wretched uh, excuses of the male half of the human species behave childishly, unprofessionally. Can you imagine Steven Spielberg acting like that or George Lucas himself acting like that? You know, I can't. Um, you know, there it's it's like looking at two frat boys, beta male frat boys, unattractive beta male frat boys. But anyway, we're not going to talk about them right now. Um, well, we are, but we aren't. Uh, you know, th but they're the only two that seem publicly t to keep defending it. Uh, this piece of garbage. Um, where's Kathleen Kennedy? Uh, you know, it's very interesting, but I, I honestly think that we are going to see some things happening. It's going to be slow. Um, you know, what usually happens in a case like this is that you see... All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my uh, expertise on this. Let's say, like, a congressman, you know, Snuffle Gruber, gets caught in bed with a page, okay? A congressional page. Oh, this shit hits the fan. Now, if he was of one party, they would kick him out immediately. They would, he'd be gone. But the other party comes out and they defend him. All right. That's step one. He's our boy, and he, let's say, like, he's a chairman of a, or the, um, ranking member of the House Ways and Means Committee, which is a huge deal. It's a powerful position, even if it's a minority position. It's a power, powerful position. So, oh no, he'll he'll stay a minority, uh, 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 you know, the uh, uh, senior minority member in the Ways and Means Committee, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, you know, you'll see this, uh, the ranking, the uh, uh, minority leader, of the house go up and you know he or she will defend him and all this and a couple of days later you'll hear complaints you'll hear rumors you'll hear more um accusations from other people about this guy and a couple more weeks he'll re he'll call a press conference and he'll resign that's what happened with uh uh anthony weiner that's what happened with mark foley Okay, uh, the GOP cut loose of him, of Foley, pretty fast. Um, but still, it, it it took a little longer than it should have. Um, and uh, you know, when, with Anthony Weiner, it you know it, it, that went on for a while, but they did have the goods on him, and he resigned. Uh, you know, so. You see these things, 
you see things like this happen where the people in charge will defend and then a week later the people the person man or woman who got themselves in trouble are gone um i don't know how they do it in hollywood i i expect to see that happen uh, nobody has said anything about um johnson losing his uh trilogy uh series that he says he's been working on but i find it fascinating that they announced it before the last year that came out i think probably to give the movie more legitimacy than it than it has because i honestly do believe that disney knew it was a piece of shit uh the lack of screeners um you know the uh overwhelming uh you know obviously quid pro quo with the with uh the uh critics um you know uh and um that deal they made with uh the theaters which tells me that and you know tells me that they they knew it was a it was a a, a, a shit show um now look at toy lines being ended and not doing and not you know basically a ray ran barbie doll toy line not happening now um thank god of course you could always turn them into voodoo dolls i mean there's something good that come could have come out of that uh you know and, and and basically no one really buying their crap i mean i you know i buy third party and i do like the black series i do like the 40th anniversary black series uh but i you know i don't go out of my way to buy new from walmart or target uh they're in trouble long range it looks bad so start you're going to probably start hearing rumors um and watch twitter watch and see see how watch to see how how hidalgo behaves now i haven't been looking on his twitter uh he muted me because he couldn't he's a beta male he can't handle an alpha female he's a pussy um but uh he doesn't look like he's been talking too much about the last jedi he mentioned indiana jones the writer the new indiana jones movie i think once and uh i wouldn't let him near that with the 10-foot pole i mean can you imagine him in the same room with harrison ford <laughs> the little the little you know hidalgo would you know pee his pants um and not 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 in a good way <laughs> um so you know but just and johnson is still you know defending himself but uh you know they're the only two that really are and, and kathleen kennedy is no where to be seen i mean i think we should file a missing persons uh you know report for her because don't you think if she was really proud of what she did really proud of this movie that she'd be out chastising fans too you know there's a great scene in the movie the patriot and uh jeremy isaac's character is standing there in front of uh, tom wilkinson who plays laura cornwallis and isaac's character um had been running around burning churches with people in them hanging people basically you know causing mayhem all over the north carolina countryside and uh cornwallis looks at him he's angry because in his opinion that kind of war is not you know he's a british gentleman he's a, a lord um you don't fight a war like that and he's basically said what is done in my name reflects upon me now you got hidalgo acting like a, a, t a 10 year old uh, fanboy ryan johnson uh you know basically saying fuck you to the fans and acting like a 10 year old fanboy kathleen kennedy is nowhere to be seen i would think that somebody would say you guys can't do that anymore i mean to me their behaviors is enough to get them fired. I mean, I would have fired him a long time ago. Now, I'm going to leave you all with a theory because this has been, and this is a theory. I don't know if I believe it or not, but this I'm just going to throw it out there. She fired Gareth Edwards during the editing process and post-production of Rogue One. Creative differences. She allows a guy with less, um, far less, uh, experience to just run roughshod over the major money 
money making part of of Star Wars, the the, the main uh, saga, the the Skywalker family saga. And she fires Lord and Miller from the Han Solo movie, but they never should have been hired to begin with. So that's completely rests on her decision making and the, her poor decision making. Um, and then it has to get Ron Howard to come in and do it uh, to to fix the movie. And he basically reshot, I think, almost the entire movie. Um, I wonder, and I'm just going to throw this out there, if she stupidly gave they were already writing he was already writing the script for episode 8 when TFA was in was in filming we have that fanfic um i still think he stole some of the some of the parts of it because while i have heard that they only used the first rough draft of the script to shoot the last jedi it doesn't mean that they added it didn't add things to it and I, I still believe that that fanfic was used uh, because it came out before they started filming The Last Jedi, okay? Um, so we've got that. Uh, I think that she didn't realize what a mess this movie was until it was too late. Um, she felt she thought she might she thought she liked what what he did. He was doing everything she she told him to, but the end product was a piece of shit. Okay, J um, J Abrams has has a way of fashioning something that at least is palpable and has a story. I mean, T F A sucked, but at least it had a beginning, a middle, and an end. I don't even you can't say that about the Last Jedi because it just is a. It's a dumpster fire, like I've said. It is a dumpster fire. Um, and I'm thinking that the reason why she didn't fire Johnson and get rid of him is because it would have been too embarrassing to do that, but she did with Lord and Miller. It just, it, to me, it just seems like something got out of control here and out of her control, which is reflects upon her, but it also reflects upon Disney not stepping in and saying, hey, you can't let him do that. Um, but she's nowhere to be seen. So, I mean, who knows? All I know is that, uh, this woman, uh, ran roughshod over directors. And maybe, you know, maybe he just did everything she wanted. But she's not anywhere to be seen. All right? I mean, maybe it was just too late for her to fire him. You know? I don't, I mean, I just think that some, there's something weird going on here with her not defending the movie at all. Um, you know, there's somebody, I can't remember who it is, but one of the, uh, one of, one of, uh, the other, uh, YouTubers really feels like she's already been fired and I don't think she's been fired. We would have heard something like that. Uh, but she's nowhere to be seen. And basically Ryan Johnson's out there, uh, you know, hanging himself by, by his own petard, okay? Uh, you know, and, which is fine by me. I hate him, so, you know. You know, I wouldn't have hired him to be a, 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 a script boy, but that's just me. Um, anyway, just, uh, you know, just I'm just thinking that maybe um, the reason why this all is going on, or why we haven't heard anything from her, is because maybe she... Uh, um, you know, it found herself in a place, a position with, with this movie that she never intended. And it just shows what a lousy leader she is. And while she, while she's a control freak, you know, she let him run roughshod and then couldn't fire him. It would have been too embarrassing. Something like that. Something, and it's just a theory. I'm not. I'm saying. I'm not saying I believe it, but it's something to think about. Uh, my thing is maybe uh, he did everything she told him to. I mean, that's what I think. But this other theory about her losing control over the movie, and now we've got what we've got, might make sense too. All right, and uh, you know, and all this lack of. Uh, P, uh, lack of um, uh, apolo the, the, the lack of, of apologists from Disney 
is startling. I mean, they defended it and then they shut up. Now, you know, you have the guy saying, you know, from in that Wall Street Journal article I, 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 I mentioned that saying, well, he was really shocked about how much money they made in the front end, but they didn't make any on the back end. All right. There's more than one theater owner and manager saying that the last two weeks that, you, that this movie was at their theater, nobody went. Okay. That is huge. People go back to Star Wars again and again and again and again and again. And they didn't this time. All right. And uh, that's that's a big thing. But so uh, I think there's stuff going on. I really, really do. I think uh, there's a lot of stuff going on we haven't heard. But just be prepared for rumors to come out uh, and other things in official sources like w one of the comic book uh, websites and something else. Okay. Uh, and uh, get ready because I have a feeling... Uh, sooner or later, you're going to see heads, ro heads rolling um, because Disney really is feeling the backlash. And there's nothing shareholders hate than not getting their investment back. All right? This is Steph. Still looking for Kathleen Kennedy. See you around the galaxy.